That's odd. The Mastermind. <laughs> That statement could be applied to the work overall. Thank you. 
What in the world was Shot talking about? First of all, let's see what's on the lost and found list. Not that it really matters much anymore. Let's see. A fruit basket, a model of hotel sign, and an Aloha shirt. Well, I'll solve those those mysteries if I happen upon them. For now, let's see what this dice that the the mastermind left on our table is. I'm surprised that we're going to just plug into the dice, apparently. Well, I think I have an idea of what number I need to put in there. I just need to locate it again. Not there. Here, the story carved into the ruins. A girl spun two wheels, and a girl prayed while carrying flowers, and a man who commanded five crows. Now, this is a bit of a strange one, because there are two wheels, and five crows, so it seems like it should be two plus five, because the flowers are drawn as a plus sign. But on the other hand, the actual shape of the numbers suggests that it is eight plus six. Or actually, it might even be four plus six. But I think, I think it's eight plus six. Well, Eight plus six is fourteen, so we'll try him putting fourteen. Oh, we only have room for one digit. Well, uh huh. Is it four? We were told that four people would end up at the tower. I tried. All those numbers were just red herrings. Final answer. The real answer is zero, because the man with the silver case taught the islanders the importance of oblivion, of nothing. Uh let's let's save. Well, I guess it was a magical teleportation die. Unless it was not magic at all, but was scientific. In any case, oh, this must be the so-called woman like a goddess, Lady Ritz.
Is this the woman who turned the two wheels inside the tower for so long? At least according to legend. Well, they talked about the 11 children who escaped from the facility. Of course, Sumio is one of them, though he doesn't remember. It would be interesting to go through all of those other children she described and see who they might be. I bet you that Toriko is one of them. Should I even be bothering with the lost and found at this point? Might as well. Any of you who are interested in solving these little puzzles can feel free to, of course. Oh, wait a minute. I already looked at this. Never mind. For all of you completionists out there, that's what this game's big collectible items are. The lost and found tickets. Apparently, someone somehow lost something in here since yesterday. Yeah, yeah, mysteries, mysteries, so many mysteries. Frankly, I'm much more interested in the primary mystery the game wants me to focus on, but, uh, some of these little puzzles can be kind of fun. Ah, and this is the first one, is it? Yes, yes it is, actually. Uh, de definitely, for sure. So, what is the first puzzle? Uh... The first one is a fruit basket. Hundreds of fruits are loaded into a truck. If divided between seven people and then three are left, if divided between eleven people and then seven are left, and if divided between thirteen people, then one is left. How many pieces of fruit are there? Oh, remainders! I haven't worked with remainders in... since elementary school, actually. Uh... I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to figure this out. So, if divided between seven people, there are three left. That means that whatever number it is over seven, will have a remainder of three, and whatever eleven it, number it is divided by eleven, will have a remainder of seven. There are hundreds of fruit, so, uh, you might have to set up an equation in order to solve this one. Okay, I gotta say, they have me stumped. I have no idea how to solve this, and I'm not going to try. The more in mathematically minded of you may feel free to find an answer yourselves, but me? I don't think I can. Or I can, but I don't know how. Hmm.
This day looked like something quite unbelievable was going to happen, but we're already back to normal. Now we know our antagonist, we've met him. It's strange that he seems to want to be caught, though, coming out here. You'd think that Shot would, uh, not want to be caught and would not come out here because we couldn't get to the airport, but would just plant the bomb. Or actually, hold on, he said he was the bomb, didn't he? If he's the bomb, then who's the terrorist? Although in this case, terrorist and bomb can quite possibly be the same entity. Sue, how, how are things going this morning? I thought Sue was our friend for so long. Not a dear friend, but she seemed so polite, so... Well, earnest about her job as a room service. And it's important to take pride in what you do, you know? Even when it's something that seems kind of menial like that. Or that's one perspective on the issue. Still. I'm... She surprises me, Sue does that she could be so ruthless. But it's true, that happened on the first and only night we've had so far. I hadn't even been thinking about that. Why have we only had one night so far, and what did that have to do that would affect Sue and Edo in the ways that it did? I don't know. So we need to go to the cottages, do we? Oh! Nope! Right here, on these stairs that are drawn in such a way that they look like a slope. This puzzle won't be like the last one. I'm gonna figure it out. I might let one get away. But two? Well, there's a problem if we let two get away. Although I don't know how difficult or easy the second puzzle is. The hotel Flower, Sun, and Rain is also called a star-shaped hotel. See the guidebook for more details. Is it five because the star has five points? It seems a little too obvious, but I'm gonna try it. I should have known. And now we have to go through his little poem once again. I love that little music that plays as Catherine opens up. All right. Where's the page about it in the guidebook? It's one of the first ones that we had in here, too. Uh, here's the map of the hotel. 
Here's the star-shaped hotel, a secret behind Flower, Sun, and Rain's unique star shape. I remember that there was a uh, an interview with the architect, Eagle. I actually visited Lost Pass Island numerous times during the planning stages. Each time resulted in an important decision being made. Before seeing the aisle for myself, my design was little more than a stack of inorganic concrete crates. As hinted at here by Eagle, the design gradually incorporated oriental elements and was transformed into something far more in balance with its surroundings than the original design. His attention to detail even covered the stone fences, exterior materials, and the largely wood-based interiors. The combination of a simple functionality and oriental elements creates a unique and invigorating environment that separates flowers, sun, and rain from other resort hotels. Igor Eagle also gave his thanks to the shooting stars that welcomed him to the island on his first night. Perhaps the biggest surprise lying in wait for guests staying at the flower, sun, and rain is revealed when they first see the hotel floor plan. Though difficult to tell from ground level, it becomes obvious when seen from directly above as the hotel is shaped like a star. This special design was created by Eagle Ishizakaski. There's a story behind why he selected this star-shaped design too. On his first night on the island, after having been commissioned to completely refit and redesign the hotel, he was welcomed by a beautiful shower of shooting stars. The beauty of those shooting stars was almost too much for me. When I took this job, the first thing I decided was to make the exterior symbolic. Iconic of something, say. Flowers, the sun, or maybe rain. I think it might be time to add stars to these three other features that so represent Lost Pass Island. Huh. What page was that? Well, here's the floor plan, at least, but... Yeah. As we can see, the hotel is indeed a five-pointed star. But... What number do we need to, uh... Put in? Should we look at the f floor plan? Uh, oh I know. I know what it might be. I know what it might be. The star might have five points, but perhaps they want us to give all of the corners that it has, not just the individual points. Now, that being said, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points on the star. Or ten corners, I mean. Ten points on the star at which the lines forming the sides of the polygon come together. In any case, though, it can't be ten. Because... It can't be. That's two digits. Well, if not that, what could it be? What? I didn't see anything about numbers in this story. Represents Lost Pass Island, stars... Beautiful shooting stars, difficult to tell from ground level, becomes obvious when seen from above, etc, etc. Wait a minute. I bet the number is four. Because there are three important features that represent Lost Pass Island. Flowers, sun and rain, and stars. Okay, there we go. I bet you that's it. Let's find out. This is that moment of inspiration that Charboni has talked about before. I might not like him, but when you have it, you have it. And he... I hate him. I hate this game. What the hell is it? Okay. Okay, I think it might just be three. This is really dumb, but I think it might just be three. Yeah, it's just three. When they talk about how there are three features and there should be another one, they don't want you to put in four, they want you to put in three. Whatever. 
I bet you that sooner or later every page of that guidebook's gonna help us one way or another. There's something very strange indeed going on here. So are the cottages this way? It does look like this is a gate here. No, they're not. They said it was out behind the hotel, and that's where we are. We're out behind the hotel. I, I suppose the other side must be where the gate that leads to the cottages is. Yeah, I'm sure. Listen to the waves lapping the shore, their gentle crests caressing the blonde sand of the beaches. Yeah, those are cottages, all right. I remember reading uh, mentions of them very early on in the game in the guidebook. Funny how everything is falls into place after a while. To me, there's something very satisfying about that in a story when uh, you start out with uh, all these mentions of various seemingly scattered elements that, after a while, end up uh, coming together in a at least somewhat meaningful way. What initially seemed to be an irrelevant detail becomes something notable later on. I know it's just Chekhov's gun and is a basic uh, tool in writing, but particularly when they're with kind of bizarre things like they are in this story, I find it... I just think it's really neat. So of course this is going to be the third puzzle. The third puzzle is for the Aloha shirt, yeah. So we have one, four, two, and three, and those give us ten. How do they give us ten? Well, let's see. Two plus three is five, so yeah, five plus five is ten. And the next one, five, five, twelve, and eleven give us thirty-three. Ten plus twelve is twenty-two, and twenty-two plus eleven is thirty-three. So next, we have seventeen, twenty-nine, and one and three. Well, if we put the three with the seventeen, we have twenty. Twenty plus twenty-nine is 49, plus 1, 50. 50 is a good round number. It's a multiple of 5 and a multiple of 10. Two sets of multiples that are particularly easy to work with. I suppose that Sue will take our lost and found tickets from now on, huh? Hmm. Is this where Lady Ritz lives? What's this on her desk? I think it's just a bowl of fruit. And it's not a desk, it's a coffee table. If you want to be asinine about it. Oh, wait, that's Lady Ritz? I'm in 
We need to go find Lady Ritz, do we? I hope we don't have to walk all the way back to the ruins. But she loves the sea. So, perhaps she'll be on a beach or at the lighthouse. Wait, is that just her over there? No. No, they're just chairs. But maybe she is over here by the sea. Oh, we can't go that way, okay. Yeah, I do like that they put the... Time to put in the detail of a pool and chairs and things. Although I never quite understood why people who live would live out on a by a beach would need a swimming pool. And there's nothing this way. All right. Well, here we go then. We gotta find Lady Ritz. But Sumio, he's a searcher. This kind of stuff, it's what he does. Maybe there is something else over here on this side. I'm just checking once to make sure. I know there probably isn't. No. No, I kind of like that camera angle we had just now. I hadn't seen it before. Well, not here anyway. Oh, what? Oh, there we go. Into the hotel, Sumio. You know what character we haven't seen in a long time? Locke. Walter Locke is his name, isn't it? Where's he been? I suspect he's largely irrelevant to the plot, but come to think of it, characters like Maria, El... P El... Crasher? The Pirate? Heck, even the Balboa brothers seem to have been nothing but padding. And that's frustrating. Of course, it's not over. We'll see if they do have a role. Hey, Sue, I'd like it if you could cash in these tickets for me. Yeah, thanks. On the subject of that, what, what? Wait, what? Hold on! What, what just happened? Well, first of all, I want to just remark that it looks like, uh, if you, wait, extra costume six? What is it? Can we, like, equip it or something? I, I don't know. Still? What all have we uh, gotten? Well, there's a mask that obviously belonged to, uh, one of the luchadors. Oh, we have pants, metal of the hotel sign, and Aloha shirt. Oh, these are the two we got today. Beach sandals, dinner bronze statue. Wait, diner bronze statue. Still don't really know what it is. Hmm. Interesting. Man, I've been getting a lot of stuff without even realizing it. 
Uh, anyway. We'll... Be on our way. Actually, no, first, Sue! Sue, do you... We can't even ring the bell, so... We don't need to go talk to Sue. Oh, wait, we can't go outside, either. Uh-oh. Um. Then... Oh, maybe she's on the roof by the pool. Come to think of it... What was that woman's name? Yayoi? We haven't seen her in a long time, either. Her, or... Stefan Charboni? The terrorist being from France can't be a coincidence. I'm sure that it's connected to Charboni somehow. Still, I don't know what to think of him. I mean, I know I don't like him. He's condescending. He likes toying with people and spreading the idea that you should never trust anyone. But that's been a recurring subject throughout this game that Sumio's a bit too trusting. Well, we can't go that way either. This is weird. I mean, the dice, th that die isn't still on our coffee table, is it? I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure we took it. But maybe it is and we can jack into it again and then we can go to the tower. Right? Right. Walk coolly, Sumio. Sure, there are a lot of people counting on you. More people than I think even you realize. Than I think even I realize. Sure enough, it's not there. In any case, though, that doesn't mean you ought to hurry. Haste makes waste. Then again, a stitch in time saves nine, so who knows what to think. Hmm. Maybe I just missed something outside. It's really pretty peaceful out here. That those ocean breezes are good for the skin. The sand can also be exfoliating. Huh? Wait a minute, she was in the pool? Lady Ritz, you're kind of frightening me. I'm not sure that we really should wash clean this island, but, uh... We need to go clockwise around this tower 24 times, isn't that right? Yeah. This'll be number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Wait, what? I suppose we had to go around less often than I thought. What have we got here? Something for Catherine to jack into. Strange though, isn't it, that this old structure would have that inside it? 
What does the guidebook say again about the old legends here? Uh, this isn't the page. Here we are. There's the image from the ruins that forms an equation. 8 plus 6, which is 14. I guess we're going to input 14, right? Right. It is. What this is going to do and whether we should have done it though, I'm less sure. I suppose that the story did say something about a giant, didn't it? Sue, you seem to be contradicting yourself in your description there. First, it sounds like Lady Ritz is going to bring destruction, and then you say that you want us to protect her. Make up your mind, Sue. Although, of course, you won't. I don't get you, Sue. I just don't get you. I thought I knew you, but I realize now how wrong I was. 